Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on once again. We've got a bunch of tokens to draw in this episode, about 170 total tokens throughout the different recruit stores and the vaults. On top of that, we have a great Crash of the Titans, and it'll be pretty much a challenge. We're going to use a non-champion character from my roster to take on five-star Thor, Gladiator Thor, with the main event Hulk. I do have a maximum champion Hulk, but we'll play my other uh, rebuild, re-rostered main event Hulk and see if we can win. Let's jump into the tokens. Here we go. All right, so I think we want to start with the vaults here. We can scroll down to the bottom and see the areas of the tokens that are uh, have kind of expired off waiting to be drawn. We've got 11 Cosmic Chaos tokens to draw. Hopefully, we can get some three-star and four-star characters along the way at 170 tokens. Man, we should be able to make that viewer luck hit pretty well. Got a support token. That's great. I had one already, and so that's going to be two tries we can do in the supports area. Maybe we can unlock a perk level. Would be fantastic. Did really well last time I drew supports. Three-star Gambit. 170 tokens. We're going to have to blast through this a little bit. There's Gamora. And the Hood. Nice run of threes. Can we uh, keep it going strong and get one of the four stars that were in here? Electra. And would you look at that? You guys brought the viewer luck again. We hit the latest legends, the highlight item, the best thing you could possibly get from this vault. And it's one of these post-event vaults where you really don't get, um, you don't get uh, what you call uh, depreciating or, or uh, lowering odds every time you make a draw from the standard 80 token vault. You get um, a little bit better odds as the results are removed as you go. Wow. Okay. Unbelievable hit there. That's going to add to the total. I've got over 430 some total latest legends draws to be made at some point. We're not going to do it anytime real soon. Probably a couple weeks away until we do that. We'll see what how the plan goes. But nice to add one more to it. And here we see the Silk and Friends vault. And I came in here and actually had to panic because I didn't have Silk, the new four-star character, rostered yet. And so I hit a 40 pack and it cost, uh, what was it, 9,800 discounted on the 40 pack from the total norm, the normal price you see down here. And I got Silk, that uh, blue cover that you see there, got her one cover rostered in time for a PVE. And then now I've gotten other rewards from other, uh, from the ending versus and story mode of the events. So. Uh, we're going to try to go for it here again in Deadpool versus MPQ. Don't have a lot of tokens here yet. Hope to get a few more. Three-star Iron Man. We'll do the discounted draw there. And just a two-star. So um, I guess we'll do... Man, I really... Should I reset the vault here for 400? I don't know, man. I think we're going to do it. I usually don't reset vaults too often, but when you run... What do we think here? We've re removed half of the items already and did get the other four star. Yep, we have to do it. I guess. Okay, so we're gonna just going to do a daily deal here, but we expect more tokens soon. Just a two star. Fine, let's go over to the recruit area. So many tokens to do throughout this, this area here. Webbed Wonder. Got another Iron Man. Let's see, you need to find a better spot for that. There we go. Looking for three stars, and we could get a four star here. Human Torch, good hit. And Falcon. Deadpool's Whale's ability. Pretty much the most hilarious animation in the game. 
All right, did really well with those web web wonder tokens. Let's go down here to. Should we do our? We don't want to do heroics yet. We want to start with the elite tokens. Forty-seven elite tokens is crazy. We'll do the quick claim. And watch this roll through. Let's see how many three stars we get starting with Spider-Man. Magneto. Nice hit on Blade there. Hot guy. Quicksilver. Thanos. Another Quicksilver. Squirrel Girl. Electra. Captain America. She-Hulk, Daredevil, another Blade, and Bonus Shards. Very nice run on the Elite Tokens. Claim it. Going to keep Mystique on as my bonus for a while. Let's now go over to Heroic Tokens. 57 Heroic Tokens. is uh, that's, a, that's a lot for me even, you know, uh, at 1 in 16 odds. We have a good chance of getting maybe up to three or four four-star characters. Let's do it. Hope these odds and viewer luck works for you as well. Let me know in the comments if you run lucky after watching a video or during or before, whatever you do. Another squirrel girl there. We have a lot of tokens to finish up here with the... Oh, there's our first four-star. I was just going to say we're going to see how many four-stars we get from so many tokens in the Mockingbird's purple there. Secret mission. Nice ability to steal enemy AP or uh, diminish it from their side. 50 more Mystique. And uh, so I was going to say we have a, just a ton of tokens to do in the Mighty side of things. Look at that, 71 Mighty tokens. That's probably toward the top of the most I've ever had. I try to keep a bunch for each video. And the Versus season just ended, so that's where a lot of these heroics came from. Mighty tokens add up fast from other reward areas of the game and then also character champion level rewards four star hit number two all right who do you think this one's going to be we'll count it down to three two one that is agent venom nice hit with symbiotic assault his red ability very cool animation on that one by the way there's a gambit Wish we had the quick claim on the heroic tokens, but the way the store is built doesn't really work for that. Cyclops. Still getting used to the restructure of the layout. At first it was kind of a shock. Now I'm pretty used to it, and now that I am used to it, I think I kind of like the uh, vertical scrolling method. Got another four star and go look at that a nice hit on maria hill her blue ability get out alive claim it that is a nice team damage ability especially want to play that after you play her black ability which is very strong strike tiles so you get the strike tile damage added to the team damage more deadpool whales Oh man, almost accidentally clicked on a 10-pack. I don't need to purchase that right now. I'm glad it asks for confirmation so I could freak out a little bit. <laughs> Saving up a lot of hero points if I can, Doctor Strange. But spent a bunch to get Silk like we said, but it worked. Among a lot of other good rewards at that time, hit a... Um, 
Spider Gwen as well as a support token. So we've got two support tokens to do. Maybe we'll do those after the heroics here and then come back for the mighty tokens. There's another four star. And look at that. A Spider-Verse character and a really good one. Uprising from Spider-Man 2099. That can do a ton of damage if there are web tiles on the board. Great. See if we can get another gold or two before we're out of heroic draws. Got a Black Panther, very nice. Got some bonus shards, it must have been for Mystique there, I think. And we did hit a four star before running out of tokens. And it's uh, Eddie Brock Venom, give and take his passive ability. Claim it, okay. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Two four stars in a row right at the bottom of the token run. Go. And it's Ant-Man Purple. How great is that? Do the daily just to make sure we're not going to get three in a row. Wow. Good run on Heroics. Thanks for bringing in the viewer luck, guys. We'll do the Mighty Tokens, but I uh, really want to go down... Or back over to the supports tokens. Let's see. Do we talk about the offer section very much? I'm very tempted by this Okoye deal. It's kind of pricey for me. I don't usually do a lot of uh, above $20 purchases in the game. But... When you're going to consider the value for hero points alone, normally you get 2,900 hero points for a $20 purchase is the standard um, Logan's Loonies pack there. And so when you compare that to this a full level on a five-star character, shards, plus 25 up on top, three latest Legends tokens and some ISO on top of it, Man, that's really, I got about a day to figure that out. So the rest of the uh, stores are usually pretty good like usual. Let's go do our support token draws. So on top of that, we have some unclaimed here. Let's look at this, look at the top list here. You see that limited is highlighted at the top left. You could jump to heroic, jump to legendary, and then uh, unclaimed. So I do kind of like that part of the layout, and so our support tokens are right above there. But uh, let's go ahead and through the through the unclaimed. These are just closed versus events, and so we'll run through those stores real quick for fist bump. Move up to most wanted with uh, Rock and Groot. That was pretty fun, especially when they got low on health and you made a yellow match. Destroying all the team up tiles on the board was fun. And trial by combat. She Hulk's event. And we did get another gold there. Scarlet Witch. All right. Pretty good. Go down to. Where are the supports? They're right in here somewhere. There we go. So we have two beginner level support tokens from this set of supports. They do rotate every so often. And uh, this is the. Probably the last day I can try to get so well, man, I really kind of, no, I don't want to wait. There's some in here that I really want to try to build levels on. We did so great on a couple others, including the Royal Talon Fighter. The Akoya support was awesome. Can we unlock? There's really one I'm going for. Let's give it a shot. Beginner support token number one. All right. Oh, man. It's a duplicate, but that's the support I'm going for. That's the only support I have at perk level number one. The only one I have that's that low. And uh, we got a duplicate at level one. Claim it. I definitely want to try to get level two on that support. Let's give it a shot. Okay, well, we got a level two, but it's a Quinjet support. Another duplicate, but uh, fun to get a chance to unlock some tier three or four perks there cool all right so let's go up to the mighty tokens there's 71 here we're going to do 35 of these that'll leave just over half at 36 remaining for next time 
Let's go. We're going to hit some three stars every time. Got a bonus there again. But uh, we could also get some four stars here. About one in seven odds at a four star. So as we cruise through this quite a bit. I think we're about draw number seven or eight there. Right now. And it is a four star. So who do you think this is going to be this time? War Machine. Very nice. He's way behind a lot of my other characters. Got his blue ability. It does remove invisibility tiles and deals damage by the way also protect tiles correct me if i'm wrong on that but i do think that's correct another four star got the iron heart working on rebuilding her up great two four stars so far i'm gonna just keep going through this we gotta get to that challenge crash of the titans with main event hulk against five star thor Got the four-star Valkyrie. Big hit there. Bounty Hunter. Cool ability with uh, creating strike tiles on yellow when... Or is that her yellow? Bounty Hunter's a good ability in that when you, the countdown that's on the board is assigned to an enemy. And when you do enough damage to the enemy, you earn a bunch of AP for doing so. There we go. Had to think that through a little bit. Got a hit on Medusa my highest re-champion character after having a max champion. I don't think we've had a Medusa for a while, though. Going down to 36. We've got a ways to go. Let's get some more four stars. I bet we get two more. Lots of three stars to level up today. Our command points is going to fly past 7800 i don't think i've ever had that many command points before crazy saving up looking forward to yellow jacket entering latest legends tokens in about a week from this video it's usually on a monday morning usa time due for a four star now and now is right way to go with the viewer luck, three, two, one. Winter Soldier, just like, um, yeah, Detonator's a good ability there. Just like a couple of the others, he's trailing behind some of my other characters. So nice to get a level up on him and War Machine and Sam Wilson, Falcon. Those, those three are way behind everyone else. Last two tokens. Can we get a four star here? Nope, I think we're done. Got the bullseye and that's it. Okay, so let's go over and level up our characters. Look at that roster. <laughs> Unclaimed rewards is at 300 plus. That's pretty nutso. And by the way, this is a little bit of a bonus here since this video is going to be long anyway. We have quests and milestones to accept here we go um i should have mentioned it at the outset well, let's go ahead and do this now actually should we do it now no let's do the other stuff first okay we have a, just so many to go through let's do the one stars i'll wait on the two stars let me run through that Okay, two stars leveled up nicely, but we're going to jump in here really quickly because I finally got some missing covers on my duplicates so we can champion a few of these up that have been waiting with covers on the list, on the vine. Three-star Magneto cover there. Let's upgrade that and downgrade blue. And I take red up just for fun also. This blue is pretty board damaging at level five but i usually don't play his blue just depends well as i was waiting a long time i think his spec layout looks good and let's go also to dock in here lots of covers waiting to go and i think you want to go up here and down there just depends. Okay. 
two stars look good let's go to the three stars what do we have for three stars a hundred and eight three stars to handle a bunch of those are going to be training covers i wait till the very last minute on some of those we'll start at the bottom though Could re-champion Black Panther. We'll wait on that. Nice level on Vision. One more to be a max champ. Close enough on shards also. Where's Psylocke coming up to? She needs blue, so we'll wait on her. Okay. Iron Fist. It's 227 for a latest legend token. Bunch of additional levels being the featured character in his versus event couple Electra as we saw earlier. Great. couple Squirrel Girl. Craven Shards. Cyclops moves up nicely. couple of Gambit here. Shards for Dazzler. More Mighty Tokens. Rocket and Groot, check it out. When they hit 223, half a level on Drax. Very nice. Thanos hits the legendary at 257. Spider Woman shards follow, followed by four star Thanos shards. Miles and four star Peter. Levels on Hood and Beast. Scarlet Witch with the Wiccan shards there. few Deadpool levels. 200 shards on Professor X. One more level on Magneto and he will be maxed out again. Four star blade shards. And once again in the next level at 223. Cool. Captain America Takes a couple of levels here. Long list, everyone. Thanks to the viewer luck running so well. Every time we do tokens like this. Looks like my rewards queue is turning into a little bit of a mess. So maybe I'll have to add in some of those training covers sooner than later. Next level on Storm is a good one. Lots of shards on Mystique. Takes her to 239 for the legendary token. 241 now is really good. Four star Kingpin from Bullseye. And that's it for the three stars. Let's go to the fours. We must have a big list here. 34 four stars to level up. I guess we've got some training ones to do as well. We'll start at the top. Kingpin with the eight command points. Two more levels for some Daredevil. Looking forward to that. Winter Soldier 346. Shards for Captain America Infinity War coming up on the next level up. Medusa earns Black Bolt Shards next time. Go ahead and train. Well, we'll do that later. It's on a different screen. War Machine, 343. And he gets shards for 5-star Iron Man coming up next. Ant-Man can definitely take that purple. And, okay. 
Venom has 25 command points coming up at the next level. Nice. Miguel with the five command points. Maria with some hero points. Where are we at with Agent Venom? Second red. Rebuilding him. Go down to Mockingbird here. 25 command points from Mockingbird to hit 368. Very nice. We'll get Silk taken care of in a little bit. Let's go down to Spider Gwen for the 350 level. Another legendary token. Wow. Are we gonna are we gonna pass 7900 command points today? We'll see how it goes here. Lots of levels on Red Guardian. He was a featured character in the entire simulator event and the event that ended the versus season. Lots of levels here. Jeez, wow. Okay, one more level to 290. Looking forward to that. Go down to Train Iceman. Yep. We'll take that. 445 with a bunch of shards to go up past championship or champion level. How are the duck? Nice to get that cover from the end of the Webbed Wonder event. He hits 313 now. Amazing. A level 320 on Human Torch gets the command point. It gets the uh, legendary token, should say. Up to 323. Elsa. 296 already. Feels pretty good progress for a new character. We'll train up this Gamma Power Bomb on the main event Hulk to level 5. We're going to need to level him up. Check this out. What do we have here? Okay, so we have shards. You know what? I'm going to add only one shard level to his yellow. And keep the remaining shard level for one of the other colors if we, if we get green or yellow next. But we are going to spend a bunch of ISO. 212,500 ISO to take him up to level 229. That should be really good shape, but still a challenge for the... Crash of the Titans we're going to do right here next. Let's go to Chavez. A couple of levels for the rebuild efforts here. Anti-Venom, 304. Let's go ahead and train this X-Force Wolverine. Oh, we'll have to do it from the other screen. Sounds good. X-23 takes a level. And, okay, so the black and yellow there. All right, let's go up to Silk. We've got a good run on her covers. Yellow three times. Very nice. String shot goes to level three. Total recall, level two. And her black ability is just level one so far, but we do have, hmm, but we do have shards. We're going to get more shards soon enough let's go ahead and purchase that so she stays a pretty round build at 322 and we'll take her level up to 147 all right looks like a pretty good start so far about halfway to another level there with shards to go nice okay is that it for the four stars i'm going to go ahead and level up wolverine and totally awesome hulk so i don't forget since they're down here at the bottom this is a good Really good level on XFW. He is at 13 covers plus enough shards to go past that for the legendary token. We'll probably champion him another for the uh, second time here real soon. And there we go. Hot dog stand onto TA Hulk. Very nice. Okay, so now hold on a second. We didn't do our shards from this section. You know what? Let's do this though. Let's get into the... Quests and Milestones. So the, I like this area. Daily Quest is a great reason to not only play uh, on all areas of the game, but make sure you get your five-star Deadpool up to one cover at least so you can play him in any single match in the game every 24 hours if you can, and that will allow you to get a really nice bonus when you meet all of these daily quest objectives. 
little boost of ISO. As you go and when you claim that last reward, you will light up the six daily quests and three of those are the spicy taco tokens and then also three star and four star shards. 5,000 ISO, very nice hit on a daily basis. Make sure you do take advantage of that. Let's look at these milestones. This is a big deal. We're gonna collect some uh, pretty high level milestones in different areas. Let's look at this. 27,000 matches. That's a 20 command point reward. 30,000 ISO 8 if you need it. And uh, here in a heroic token, we did make it to 7,900 command points. We'll claim this and go for an additional 20. And look at that. 33,000 matches. What is wrong with me? <laughs> why, why would you play that many matches in this game? You collect it again and look at that. We are making really good progress toward 40,000 matches for that 25 command point reward. Fantastic. Okay. So I could be using a lot more ISO 8, but we'll save that second milestone for a little bit that is a five star kingpin cover so that'll be great plus some red isolate let's go down here use 400 health packs definitely easy to do that in the game working towards 600 health packs for another level on patch wolverine fine use 25 team ups i really don't use team ups as often as i probably should to get these rewards so i'll try to do that it's not a huge goal but uh yeah, getting that milestone moved forward progress will be great. And use 10,000 boosts. I definitely use boosts on almost every single match in Versus. And a lot of times I use boosts on each match in uh, the story mode. When you have enough ISO to buy AP boosts, I think it's well worth it. This is a 5-star cable reward. Wow, that should really pop up on the screen in a more uh, celebratory fashion. Use 50 shields and verses, definitely have done that, but still a ways away from that 100 shields next level. Let's go down to collect 15 powers for one star heroes. Admittedly, I sell them off a lot now, so I need to keep working those up to get better rewards for that um, next token. Let's go down to collect 300 powers for four star heroes. 200 four star shards claim it going to go to shuri we're going to do that again 350 four star and we're working on the 400 that'll be a little bit yet here we go see that collect 20 powers for five star heroes man that's a nice one 150 shards i'm actually going to keep that on the screen so i can apply that to whoever i want to at the time if I switch my favorite around to someone else. I think that's kind of a nice uh, specific chunk to add to someone. But let's go down to the promote four star heroes into a champion 100 times. Wow, that's crazy. That is the end of this milestone. I don't think it goes another level, but it's 530 five star shards and a legend, latest legends recruit token for doing that. So we're going to claim this that does go to Okoye. And there we go. That milestone's complete. A lot of the other milestones down below are all finished out if you want to kind of run through your own. So we'll let those build up again and uh, re uh, run back to this area when those are a little more exciting. But man, I, I do think the milestones are a great addition to the game. Now let's do our shards, mostly because we added a bunch to our total shard list just now okay so what do we want to do here probably not don't want to spend too much time but whenever there's a three star might as well collect it sure he got another level or two and look at that Gets the 100 shards on Okoye and some command points. He's at level 296, rebuilding for the second time. I do have a maximum champ, Shuri. After that, Ragnarok's not very exciting. 
level on. Wow, big one here on Drax. 25 command points. Level on Storm. 250 char or, uh, hero points from 5 star Storm. We got a cover level on Cable to add in. He hits 458 for a bunch of hero points. Legendary token coming up next. Captain Marvel. Got enough shards for her. More hero points again. LT next. Hawkeye was from a daily reward for the shield resupply. Level for 5 star Hawkeye. He goes up. 464, 25 CP coming up next. And you guessed it, Okoye goes for the first time on my roster to level 490. Wow. Going to probably try to push her as fast as I can up to 500 and then decide from there who to change my favorite to if I do change it. We're done, finally, with our levels. Let's get into the Crash of the Titans we're not done, done. We're just going to really take on a challenge battle here. Level 270, so thankfully he won't have a, a huge ton of health. But he is a 5-star character, so that red and green can hit pretty hard. And we have main event Hulk to play. If you take a quick look, my um, we could select our the maximum champion here, level 370. And he's got 37,900 health. And his purple ability would deal 14,300 damage plus five random critical tiles. Yes, that's absolute overkill. We're going to see what we get out of our newly leveled but not championed main event, Hulk. So he comes in immediately every time at the beginning of the match and destroys a bunch of tiles. That's really kind of helpful because... Sometimes that can destroy, like for example, Four Star Rocket and Groot starts out with Strike Tiles on the board. He can just destroy them right away before you even make your first move. Uh, really helps out a lot sometimes. We want to go for yellow and obviously purple. And in this case, we have only have a couple of levels in green. So he's going to do a uh, swap of two tiles at the beginning of the match. I think we'll match red to keep that away from Thor. Yellow's also dangerous because if he gets his yellow repeater going early, he's going to create a lot of protectiles against us. Get another purple there. He's up to six green. Now green becomes very important to keep away from him. And toward getting his 12 so we better we'll take this green even though it sets up a red match his red does single target damage it does hurt quite a bit it does punch through protectiles if there's any on the board and um, if he has special tiles on the board the red does more damage so if he gets protectiles out from his yellow that red deals more than it would normally I'd like to get yellow going for main event Hulk. Let's see if he'll line us up with it. He did. We could get more purple. Let's get yellow. If Thor's matching blue, I think you're probably doing pretty well keeping his colors away. And black. Extra move in purple. That is pretty much the best scenario. We are ahead in health here. That's going to do, oh my gosh, we got another match in purple, and we have our Gamma Power Bomb ready to play. 6,400 damage, and creates, um, you know, the critical tiles. Let's wait on that. I really want to get a little out of our yellow. Luckily that we got our yellow rolling as well. So Thor has nine green. Super dangerous moment, but now we can play The Crowd Goes Wild. I think this is a super underrated ability. It's very expensive at 12, so I get it. But when you play this, 
Those countdown tiles are fortified if you have enough co cover levels in the ability. And for three turns, this each countdown is going to do one of three things randomly. It'll deal team damage or gain two AP for you or give a burst of health back to Hulk. So with each, with those all through the board here, with four of them out there, and five at uh, cover level five in the ability, watch what these do at the beginning of the turn. Damage plus AP building, it actually ran us up to 19 purple. Okay, so let's do this. He can't match green. Six yellow, though. That's dangerous. Damage plus AP building. Okay. I'll let those countdowns go off for the last time. Very nice. Okay, each one dealing damage. Thor has just over 9,000 health, and this is probably a good moment to play Gamma Powerbomb. One of the most fun abilities in the game. We're up to 24 purple. That's insane. If any of these critical tiles uh, show up on the board near those yellow or green or purple tiles, we're going to get a whole lot of extra damage with these criticals. Such a fun ability, fun animation, and should be just about enough to get the win. Oh, wow. Not one of the critical tiles had an automatic match. That's crazy. They always do. So what do we want to do then? Well, I want to guarantee some damage. And what I think we're going to is take this critical tile to the right because it's going to make a two critical match on green. And green is our strongest color. Let's do this. Actually, I'm going to move this one down. 1,200 plus 600 damage there. You have to be careful with Thor because when he's under half health, he does the um, what we call God Mode by destroying tiles and earning AP for them. Now we're in a super dangerous spot because he um, has his red and almost his green ready to play. I'm not too worried because we get a match four. Oh man, this is going to be close. He's got his red. He's got his green. What a comeback for Thor. That power bomb should have taken him out. And we didn't win the challenge. Okay, that was actually kind of fun. I, I, I thought we had it in the bag a little too easily. And now Hulk is really mad. And we're going to take on Thor with our maximum champion main event Hulk. We're going to go for purple and yellow. Let's see if we can get him this time. I know we can. He's going to get that match for him. Green over there. Nice match for that worked out to get a purple match as well. We're already up to nine in purple this time. Man, I can't believe we lost that match. That's what happens when, when Thor enters God mode. It is not good for the player. We can get that purple match down at the bottom. Once in a while, Hulk will, mat, will move away in his tile swap, a match that you would have been able to make good use out of. And sometimes he swaps in a match that wasn't there for you before. So it just kind of depends. Some people like him. Some people hate him. I think he's great. And look at that. Gamma power bomb time. It's a guaranteed victory. The damage alone gets it for us. But watch these critical tiles. That's what they're supposed to do. Automatic matches, big time damage, and we get the win. Don't make Hulk mad. And that's it. We get the legendary token. Thanks for running through with the viewer luck on all of those great draws. We'll see you in the video down below. Hit the like button. 
Thanks a bunch.